Hey, how's it going, everybody? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Monday, September 7th, 2020. It is Labor Day, and we've got a college football pick between BYU and Navy coming up on this report. Uh, before I get to that, real quick note, if you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com and just want to give it a trial run, click on that link below the video. Get set up for a free $60 account, which you can use on any of my daily packages or anybody else at DocSports.com. Again, it all starts by clicking on the link below the video. Coming off a real nice opening week in college football with our premium picks. Started out on Thursday, easy winner with South Alabama. Came back on Saturday, hit a five-star, easy winner with Army over Middle Tennessee State. So we finished up 2-0 with our premium picks and opening week action in college football. And uh, that now brings us to a profit of over $10,300 for $100 per unit betters going back to late September of 2018. And we're going to talk a little bit more football as we get closer to Thursday's action, including week one of the NFL. Uh, but you can go over and check out on my handicappers homepage at DocSports.com. You can check out the different packages I have for college and pro football. Also, if you'd like to bet, or excuse me, you like to grab individual daily packages, those are up too. So uh, be sure to check it out if you wish. We've had a great run. NFL, we've had a top 20 money finish at the Westgate Super Contest. We also won this, this piece of hardware, this chunk of wood. Uh, last year's Las Vegas OV Invitational NFL Contest, five NFL plays per week against the spread. We had 60%. We took home the hardware, the trophy. So uh, we've done really well in football, as you can tell, and as you know, uh, over the last many, many years. And uh, we look to continue to do so off to that 2-0 start. Thanks to those of you who jumped on board. So anyway, on Monday, we've got uh, seven-star playing PGA. We hit the seven-star, excuse me, the five-star on Sunday. Easy one. Scotty Scheffler over Abraham Answer. That was our only play in the PGA on Sunday. We're off to a 2-1-1 one, one start so far in this tournament. We've got the seven-star to wrap things up on Monday. 2-0 in the month of August with our seven-star plays. This is the first, of course, for September. We also hit 71% with all of our golf plays. Uh, throughout the month of August, from August 1st right through the 31st. And uh, by the way, we're now on a 7-1 PGA run heading into Monday. And those who have wagered $100 per unit are up almost $3,000. So star of the show for me on Monday, seven-star afternoon matchup in PGA action, final round. Also wanted to mention we got a four-star in the NBA. We hit with the Lakers on Sunday, come back with a four-star on Monday. Those plays are on an 80% run. Going to pass in the NHL. I do have a couple of baseball plays. Uh, we started out nice on the weekend. It had to settle for a two-and-two two weekend in baseball, but we do have two more on Monday. Uh, so a lot going on. Again, the star of the show, that seven-star play in the PGA. More football videos and a little bit more about what we're going to be doing this upcoming weekend over the next few days. Also, this is my only video for Monday, uh, but late Monday night, Tuesday, we'll be back to cutting some baseball and or basketball videos uh, on a daily basis. All right, let's get to it. It's BYU taking on Navy. BYU has become the favorite as you probably know by now, lay in one, but they're also picking in several shops. Uh, the totals dropped a bit. It originally opened around 53. It is now sitting at anywhere from 48 and a half to 49 and a half. I'm looking at BYU in this particular matchup for our free pick today. Listen, Navy's going to be a, a little down offensively. I mean, they lose one of the premier quarterbacks they ever had at Navy from last year. And even though the service academies, you know, a lot of times are next man up type of situations, I just think they're going to have a little trouble at quarterback compared or relatively speaking to what they've had the last couple of years. Also, when they run their option, they're going up against a veteran and talented defensive interior for BYU, which means you're going to have to push that option to the edge if you're Navy. And that plays right into what BYU does best. They have fantastic linebackers. So, uh, listen, are they going to completely shut down Navy? Probably not. Are they going to slow them down? I think so. Well enough to get the win. On the offensive side for BYU, fantastic offensive line, uh, strong quarterback. I know they lost one of their best players on the offensive side, a tight end. Uh, but, again, it's a situation where I think that offensive line is going to get the job done against Navy. Uh, we like BYU here, guys. Uh, you can find it at pick, but even laying a point, BYU is the free pick for Monday's college football. If you like the videos, click on the thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I do appreciate those who have done so thus far. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put Monday in the win column.